Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. It's Easter weekend and these are my favorite people in the whole world. We're gonna take them thrifting, heading out to an antique store and whatever they buy, when it sells, they get to keep the profit. Oh, yeah. Come along with us. Enjoy the shopping. So we are now at 605 Antiques. The kids really behaved well. Jackson found this Lucite paperweight. Um, I probably should have let him buy it. It was $10. We probably could have made a profit. Uh, this art glass face was 15 Nobody bid on it. Nobody <laughs> really wanted it. And here's my Cora. She goes for the bling. This candle holder was $15. I told her I didn't think it would sell for a lot more. A couple of the grands pick up this um, kind of oriental trinket dish. Uh, Cora tells me I'm not buying something for $3 only to sell it for 5 and then she sees this glass, she likes it, but it's $5. She kind of wants to spend more money than that. That's my Cora. This trap kind of intrigued her, but I told her I really didn't know too much about traps. Kind of not my thing. London is looking here at these pretty vases. She sees a trinket dish that she likes. However, there isn't a price on it. And we all know what happens when there's no price on it. You're not going to be able to buy it unless they call the people. She also liked these old mittens. <laughs> kind of dancing around with them. There's my Veda Rose. She's two. She didn't get to play the game, but... Someday she will. Baron father found this Jack and Jill uh, 1943 book. I just didn't think there was a lot of resale in it. But Jackson found a bunch of Halloween decorations, and that is what he ultimately picked. Uh, Cora now sees a Fenton coin and dot creamer, and I thought that's what she was going to purchase, but turns out she puts it back. Baron, in his hand, has a Fenton Koi Carnival Glass Fish, and he does end up buying that. Cora ends up buying this uh, Northwood Bowl. She said she loves it because it looks like there's water in it. And so there you see Baron with his Fenton Fish. Uh, Cora, of course, is going back and forth, but she does finally decide on the Northwood Bowl. Jackson also places his uh, Halloween decorations on the counter, and so does Baron with his koi fish. Um, there's Cora looking at a mid-century dollhouse, but she said, not buying that. There's no accessories. I like this dragon wear um, tea set. But I'm not in the game, so I don't purchase it. Kenrick's having a hard time finding something. Um, oh, and there's my little Veda Rose again. How cute is that child, really? A couple of the grands liked this fan, and I probably should have looked into that more because it really was quite nice. Uh, Kenrick is looking for something like more manly. And then he goes to this case and spots a cast iron notary seal made in England. And I think it's going to probably make the most profit. Um, he also liked the coins in this case. Um, but there is the notary seal and he does really like that. We end up buying that for $24. The kids were really well behaved this is in this. Cora, and Cora, show them what you picked up. Okay. This is a Northwood blue opalescent 
a swung candy bowl, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. We paid $25 for it. We're gonna quick take a look to see what we can find on the internet, similar. Here are some. See if you can find one that's like yours, Cora. Because yours have little pedestal feet. Oh, right here. This one is listed on eBay for $40.50. You would make some profit on that. Yes. I think it's a good choice. It's a good choice. $40.50. I think that would be good. Yes, this is the same one. Yep. Good yeah. job. And yeah, that's the same. Yeah. So hopefully you can sell it fast and then I'll give you the money. Okay? So this is Jackson. He is nine years old. They live up in North Dakota. Jackson, I'm eight years old. You're eight? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Hold up what you um, picked out. He picked out Halloween decorations. Pumpkin. Show him how that works. Those are called honeycomb pumpkins. Honeycomb. That dates to 1975. And then the other ones, he has quite a few of these. Some, uh, well, I guess they're all flocked. And I don't know if these have dates on them. Maybe, did you say 1985, I think? Okay. So we're gonna just do a quick look. This one's really cute with the candle inside the pumpkin. Gonna to do a quick look on those. Okay, Jackson, so you paid $20 for all of them, and there's a large collection. Oh, look it. Right here is pretty much same ones you have. I think you have more. And oh, those are $16.88. Um, listed for $16.88, but you also have the honeycomb one, so we'll take a quick, quick look on those. Oh, right here is some. Um, honeycomb. Yours are maybe more like, let's see. Honeycomb. Maybe more like this. You have two of them. Here's three of them. So $9.99. Um, still, you're going to make a little bit of money off of these. Maybe not a lot, but I. you have a large collection. I think they'll sell pretty good. Are you excited? Earn some money? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to get $1 and... $1.98. Oh, okay. this is London. She's my oldest granddaughter. She's 10 years old. Um, we had some difficulty. We couldn't decide. London had a hard time. She saw so many things she liked. So I encouraged her to buy this uh, Frankoma set of salt and pepper shakers. And when we got home, they were worth exactly what we bought them for. So we went down to my stock room and I let her pick something out of my stock. And this is what she chose. These are, um, it's dated 1928, and it's hand-painted. It says Mother on them. We thought it might be good because Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming up, and they are very old. Uh, the bottom is stamped in the packing. We can't really find anything on the internet similar to it. There are some... Um, hand-painted older anchor hawking salt and pepper shakers but none of them that say mother and like I said they are hand-painted some would call it flash painted um, I just think it's a really nice piece uh, I think I paid maybe two dollars for them so she'll make some money so this is Kenrick my oldest grandchild um, this time he came to visit he suddenly is taller than I am just since Christmas no, I guess Thanksgiving. We last saw each other Thanksgiving. So anyways, this is what Kenrick picked. Pick it up, Kenrick. It, it is an antique notary seal, hand-pressed, uh, made of cast iron. I would say probably in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Do you remember what we paid for it? $25 or $28. $24. $24. We've looked around here. This is kind of what we saw. Um, this is an, this is on eBay. It hasn't sold yet, but this one is listed at $199.99 plus shipping. And then another one, um, this one, which has got more of the hand painted gilt, golded gilt on it, like ours does, is listed for $74.99.
This one is made in England, which through the research, we kind of think that the ones from England are more expensive. So it actually has the address and the maker of the, the company on it. When you press it down, it says Duluco Limited with kind of a floral leaf design in the center of the seal. This is already listed on Etsy, and I think we listed it at $89, and that includes free shipping. So we're hoping this one's going to sell fast. Right, Henry? Yep. What are you going to do with your 50 bucks if you sell it? I don't know. Probably save it. Okay. And this is Baron. He is Kenrick's younger brother. You are 10 years old now, right? Yep. So he went with us to um, 605 Antiques, and this is what he picked out. I have to admit, I love the Fenton Carnival Glass um, art pieces. It is so pretty. It's so iridescent. Do you think it's going to sell pretty well? Mm -hmm. We did pay up for this piece. We paid $45. But hopefully he's going to make a bit of money on it. This is what we found on the internet. This one is very similar. It does have a little bit of hand painting done on it. It's currently listed for $139 on eBay plus $15 shipping. This one is exactly like it. And this one is listed at $65 but an extra $12 for shipping. So I have sold similar pieces in the past and I sell them between 60 and $100, $100 depending on what the, the figurine is. So Bear, what's gonna happen to your money if you uh, get this item sold? Probably go to the store and buy something. Get something you want, huh? Yeah. Okay, well thanks guys. So 605 Antiques here in Sioux Falls is a great place to shop. They were so kind to the kids and, and myself when we were up in there. Um, very patient with the kids wandering around the store. Also, I will give you updates on when these items sell um, on, in my future videos. I'll let you know which one sold first, who made the most money, things like that. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay with me, follow along, and like and subscribe. Thank you.